right, so we about to get ready for some rebar. And you guys see how we go about tying our rebar. So we got 16 duplex nails. These are gonna be six inches and eight inches on center. So we got the top to bottom. The reason we do it this way is just absolutely no movement when we're um, pouring the, co uh, the concrete. There's no movement on rebar. It's a nice tight cage. And some people say, well, that takes too long. It takes a little bit long, but we make it up when we start tying the rebar with our rebar guns. Actually puts us ahead. So that's how we do it. Snap a line about every six inches or whatever the, uh, the measurement calls for. So if it's 12 inches on center, these nails will be 12 inches on center. We do it for the top and the bottom. Now, ideally, on the bottom we go every other one, but for some reason they did every six inches. Well, no big deal, but we try to go every other one on the bottom. So here we go. Walk it out with you guys. Again, if you guys have your way of doing it and it works, that's cool. We've kind of been doing it for like this for probably about the last five, six years. Haven't had any issues. And that's the main, main, main thing. No issues. Top and the bottom. We're going to walk around the wall. There's a level. It's the villa. Yeah, it's too tight over there but that's what we have. So actually you can see the wall is a little taller on this side, it's about seven and a half feet. So we put three of them, we got one, two, and three. And these are just regular rebar tie wire. So that's how we go about hanging our rebar up. We got the guys on the top side cutting them and bringing them down. Got your boy Joe Johnson right here. Mr. TikTok himself, making his mama so proud. So we got the vertical rebars up here. And the verticals for this wall is uh, six inches on center, number five. But each one of these verticals kind of had to be cut, a custom cut, I guess you call it. You can see that we got 284s, we got 286s, we got 287s and so forth, 288. And that's just the way the slope of the hill has that the uh, that the terrain is that was a big word and you can see so we had to make each one um, a custom cut here but all these are six inches on center ideally we got 12 inches on center uh, but this particular job so you got to really read your plans uh, is uh, calls for six inches on center verticals and we're gonna go 12 inches on center number uh, five as well so this is the rebar it's coming around here and these are all the verticals. Now at the lunch, we're gonna come back here and put the horizontals. I couldn't get the drone up, it would have been pretty perfect, but we've got a lot of trees and branches. And with the drone that we have, uh, it kind of got these sensors and it just kind of stays in one place because they feel, <laughs> they see all these branches, so to speak. But you can see it's pretty, pretty fucking muddy here. Excuse the language, YouTube. And we're gonna come on around here. And you can see it over here as well. So this is our rebar. Number five, six inches on center vertical and number 12, uh, uh, 12, I mean number five, five, number five, 12 inches on center horizontal. And at these corners, these 45s or 22s right here, we're gonna add some more reinforcements here. So again, that's what we have for our rebar. 